Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Attitudes. In this video, I'll be showing you how to check if someone is spying on your phone. Before we start, hurry up and check out the self purchase under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, or in this case, you might be worried if someone is actually spying on your phone. Well, in this case, there are a few indications here that you might need to know to actually guarantee that someone is actually spying on you so in this case the first thing that we want to do here is we want to view our installed apps because most of the spy apps or spy uh, tools that they use right now on your phone usually comes in a uh, app format so typically we need to access our apps here to see that so let's go open up our settings here you want to scroll down a bit here and you want to go ahead and access apps now under apps you want to go ahead and click on manage apps and also, this is just an additional thing that you could do is you could go to the top right of your screen and you should be able to see the show all apps here. Go ahead and click on that because in this case, uh, the apps itself or all the apps in here might not show all the apps that you might or in this case, you are looking for. So in this case, go ahead and open it or in this case, select that. So once you've done that, you should be able to see all the apps on your uh, device here. Now, the thing here with spy apps, or in this case, the tools that hackers or the people are using to spy on you, typically hides under a, a different name. So you might not see the original name of the app in so itself in here. It's usually hidden under the settings app that you could see here and all the other apps or system services that you see on your apps. But then again, that can be really hard, especially that, as you can see right now, there's a lot of apps that we could... Uh, uh, basically you see here so if you know all the apps that you have on your uh, in this case your uh, mobile device it's a great way for you to compare what app you don't recognize here so in this case what you need to do is you need to look for any app that seems suspicious to you like especially for apps that are in this case being duplicated like for example if you have a settings app so let's just look for the settings app or, or any app that we could uh, make an example let me just search for settings and as you can see we have our settings here so in this case if you do have like settings here uh as you can see you could basically access it so the thing with settings is uh, settings is actually does not require that much of uh, permission especially for uh, the app itself again this but Basically, this actually depends on your device itself. So sometimes settings might require you or in this case, manage permissions for your storage and whatnot for that. But again, th this, uh, this is actually dependent. But the thing here that you need to recognize is if you have like two settings apps on your device, it might mean someone might have installed something on your device. But then again, like what I said before, this actually depends on your phone. So some phones actually have two versions of settings. As you can see right now, mine actually have two versions. So this is uh, quite um, uh, interesting. But in this case, if you do see one on your phone and you're sure that you only have like one settings on your app, what you need to do here is you need to disable that specific app on your device because it might it would mean that this app might be a spy software that was installed on your device. So in this case, the thing that you could do here to basically remove or deny them access to your phone is to just basically select that app here. And what you could do is you just need to basically access the permission section here. And what you need to do is you need to disable all the permissions that you see here. So as you can see, it's going to like select camera here and you should be able to basically remove that specific permission. Now, in this case, uh, you could go ahead and do this for all apps here, but sometimes apps uh, itself uh, might deny that, so depending on your phone. In this case, let's go ahead and select this one, and as you can see, uh, the settings here are denied. So, in this case, yeah, so that's, uh, that's one of the things that you need to uh, basically uh, do here to prevent someone from spying for you. Now, another thing that you need to take note here is whenever you're viewing one of the apps here, as you can see, some of the apps doesn't allow you to actually uninstall the actual app. So as you can see, the settings app here does not allow me to uninstall that. So in this case, if other, let's, let's go and access one of the other apps here, just going to use, so for example, Amazon Shopping here, as you can see, I have the uninstall button. So it means uh, uh, this app can be uninstalled. But again, some of the apps out there are uh, spy apps out there. So uh, if you have like a spy software in your phone, 
in this case it looks suspicious like for example if you have your settings and you can actually uninstall the settings app itself when you view this picture it means it most likely is a spy software because most of the system apps that we have on our phone or in this case like like what i saw uh shown you before you can't uninstall certain apps here which are by settings defaults or uh in this case default apps that your phone needs for it to work but if you do see a suspicious app here and you do see a uninstall button then most likely that is a spy software because most spy software actually hides under a system name or a system app that you usually access on your phone by default and yeah so the best thing you could do here to actually are uh, prevent someone from accessing your data here or spying from you is to basically either remove the permissions that you like what we did before or you can just basically uninstall the app itself so it depends on what applies to you but in this case that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video